Hello everybody, my name is Lagger254 and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Us, yes. Uh what the hell happened? So we set off to try and fix this shit. Came in, met Kogita, is what her name was. She told us that we have to go to Oh, we also we met dude man here volo and he brought us here said uh she might be able to help so she told me that i have to go to where do i have to go i have to go to the three lakes to try and uh i have to clear three different trials to craft the red chain to try and fix this nonsense uh abra is also here this is um commander that's silene's abra so that's cool i can use that to get, switch out my pokemon and uh irida is over there irida and adamant were here as well i was like we can help you, but we can't help you in the open, so only one of us can help you because it would actually be more difficult if it were all three of us. If it were both of us. So, uh. Because, uh, Commodo would run wild if we helped you in the open. Hey, there's a mass outbreak of Curlia in the Alabaster Icelands. This will and a uh, scun tank in Coronet Highlands. Uh, go here first. We'll start with Lake Verity. I don't know where. Oh, right, I have a map. It'll probably give me a waypoint anyway. Let's see. Ah, oh, it does. Sick! And I'm here as well. I don't really need to catch anything. Just a bunch of Bidoof here. Give me this. Cool. It's a Shanks. It's a Wurmple. Yeah, I don't really need to catch anything. Unless I do come across something I haven't before. Going in this direction, because that happened last time. I ended up going to a new place. Not necessarily a new place, but a new area in one of these places that I haven't been to before. And I saw a Pokemon that I didn't see before. Like, uh, was it Hepini? No, it's just... Oh, that's, uh... Item. I forgot what it's called. Pad Pop Plon, that's it. I need these. I think I make super potions with that? It's like a Luxio, Luxray, and... Both Luxio, right? On both sides is just Luxio and uh, what's it called hanging out. Yep. Okay, so I guess that's the way in. 
I'll go that Oh, hey, there's a wisp over there. There we go. <laughs> it probably would be easier to do this. I don't risk... Okay. Don't risk falling off. Have I not gotten any of the wisps in the obsidian fieldlands? Or is it like this part of the obsidian fieldlands? Is the area like Lake Verrick? I doubt that. It seems like too small a place for there to be 19 wisps. Hold on. I don't think I've ever used these. I've gotten them before. Hey. I've got an idea. I'll put it on the other way. Why are all of these Luxio and Luxray hanging out with Drift Limbs? What's going on? Magikarp? I haven't seen a Magikarp before. How do you react to people? Fucking... You know what? <laughs> you can have that. Yo. They say this lake actually used to be a volcano. Really? When it erupted, leaving a huge crater, it filled with water. Oh, then it erupted. And so Lake Verity was born. <clears throat> it's protected by a Pokemon called Mesprit. It was when Mesprit took flight that people first learned the joys of sorrow. The joys and sorrows of living. That's how the old tales go, anyway. Yeah? What is it? Oh. Cool. So I guess that's how the caves... <laughs> that cave, it just appeared from nowhere. Is that the arc phone the professor was going on about? I guess. What surprises wait within, I wonder? Mistress Kogita, it seemed quite intent that you would have to prove yourself to all three of the Pokemon that guard these lakes. This challenge was never for the faint of heart. All right. Masperate. Hey, the air uh, feels somehow intense in here. Whoa. Is that an Alpha Sligu? 
Messing Pokemon stands before you. You and your Pokemon quelled Hisui's nobles. You can handle any battle, Rachel. Sure, I guess. It's a dragon. It's purely a dragon. Ha! <laughs> ah! Alright, good draw. Did I pull this Sligu just now? Shelter. Oh. That doesn't look good. Get stabbed from these. Super effective? Really? Is this a different... I guess I didn't really think about it because it's an alpha Pokemon anyway, so I just expected it to be bigger, but its tail looks bigger than what I remember. Oh. Why is it weak to fighting moves? Nice. Right. Steel and Dragon. It said, it said defeat, or did it say, it say battle or defeat? Because I want to see if I can catch it instead. No, oh, Jesus Christ. Holy shit. I don't think this will knock it out, but I don't think this will knock it out. I do want to try and catch it. That might have knocked it out. Fucking hell. If it ends up being too much of a hassle, I might... I might just have to take it. I might just have to knock him out. Do these work? As like great bulls, or do they? I'm surprised I haven't gotten like ultra bulls yet, or the crafting recipe for one at least. Okay, I've got an idea. I don't know why I haven't. Oh Jesus! I was probably I probably shouldn't do it now, but. I just thought I could have swapped into salad and used what's it? Thunder Wave to paralyze it. Let me give this a try. Yeah. 
Well. All right. Let's try that then. I don't know how this affects Thunder Wave, I just don't want it to have two moves in a row at one point. Please stay in the wall. Maybe it's like six star I would have gotten the crafting recipe for. Jesus Christ. Please just stay in the wall. That's all I need you to do. I don't have too many of these left. Again, I very well might just be oh, Jesus. Really? I might just have to take him out at some point if this keeps going like this. Come on. God damn it. might not be this very well may not end up going the way I hope I might just have to like bite it and I might just have to take this thing out Then the last two will get obliterated by by that move by Hydro Pump. So please stay in the wall. I swear to God. Jesus Christ. Nice. A reason. They only got these, these, and these. I don't think they're really doing much better. They're probably worse than the Great Bulls, to be honest. Oh, okay. As I said that. <laughs> awesome. Now I have an Alpha Gudra. It's curious, but when I watch you and your Pokemon battle, it feels as if there's no obstacle that can't be 
overcome if people and Pokemon work together. Now, let's see about the Pokemon of the lake. What in the... Mysterious presence. Vesperate? A Mesprit. <laughs> Your emotions. <laughs> Share them with me. What? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I can only imagine how it must feel to direct, uh, speak directly with a Pokemon like that. When you fell into this land, what stirred in your heart? Uh, huh. I mean, I don't think this really matters, but it wasn't panic. I'd say su- hmm. I'd say surprise. Fuck it. How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Heartening? Not bizarre. Uh... What's heartening? I've never... I have an idea of what that is. I've never... I've never seen that word before. I guess it would be the opposite of disheartening. Yeah, I guess it would be the opposite of disheartening. Would excitement, would exciting, I'll say heartening, fuck it. What did you feel when you mingled with Hisui's clans? <laughs> uh, we're all so different. It's a wide world. What did you feel when cast out of the galaxy team? Ah. Huh. That wasn't fun at all. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Whoa! Mesprit's Plume. Proof that you've completed the trial set by Mesprit, the being of emotion that lives in Lake Verity, side of needed to forge the red chain. Interesting. So they can just give you the ability to forge the red chain. You don't have to make him do it. Neat. Alright, see ya. I know that Pokemon spoke with you, yet the words did not reach my ears. It's mysterious, but I suppose when dealing with someone who fell from the sky, it's only natural to encounter mystery. Next, on to Lake Valor and Lake Acuity. Do I have to talk to her to... Oh, okay, no. Um... That's Valor. That's Valor. Oh wait, that was Verity. There's Valor and Acuity. I guess I'll do Valor next. Oops. Hmm. 
Hey, how's it going? Looks like that worked out well, Rachel. I must say, you know an awful lot about Hisui, Volo. I suppose a merchant like you sees all sorts of things in their travels. Yep, <laughs> that's right. You could say it's because I'm a merchant, but mostly I'm just naturally filled with curiosity. I want to know what exactly what happened in the past that led us to this particular present. Or well, more accurately, I suppose. I want to know where I came from and where I'm headed. I want to know my path, so to speak. The same goes for me. Our clan settled at the very spot where our forebearers once beheld Almighty Sinnoh. But I still have never seen Almighty Sinnoh for myself. Weighty matters to ponder, for sure. But we have an important task before us. Do you want to return to Mistress Kodigita's home? Yes. Please. Just take me back. Perfect. I'd like to see what she thinks of our progress. Go, Gator. <laughs> ah, Mesprit's plume. So the legends told it true. Then the red chain must be real as well. I beg your pardon, Kogita, ma'am. But what do these Pokemon that represent the mind have to do with this red chain? And why exactly should it bind the world? Your doubt suggests a keen intellect. I see you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Without the mind, were the rift to widen and the very world to end, would we even know it? One might even say the world, time, space, all creation exists only because our minds are there to perceive it. Perhaps the Red Chain's purpose is to let one see each creation as it truly is. I... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> so what does the mind... So does the mind create the world? But isn't it the other way around? Or is it... Such are myths, my child. Seek teaching us about the world in their own incomprehensible ways. They urge us to think more for ourselves on the nature of Almighty Sinnoh, and on the nature of the world in which we dwell. You're absolutely right. Myths and legends are such fascinating things to study. In any case, uh, all we have to do is complete two more trials, and we'll get the red chain. How nonchalant you sound. How confident of successes to which... You contribute nothing. <laughs> huh? You tag along only for the chance to gawk at more ancient ruins. Yeah, <laughs> true, he said. True. Okay, I'm making more poke. Uh, I'm making more of these. I need a lot more iron chunks. Why can I only. Oh, apricorns. I need apricorns as well. I just need to get more materials, period. I guess. You can make a bunch of this stuff. Uh, I can make 12 uh, super potions. Exactly. I will do that. Perfect. So I have 19 super potions. And I can use them to make... I can make five um, hyper potions. Since I have five vivid choke. Unless I've got more in here.
What else am I not using? I'm not using any of the bait, so let me move all of that. These are for smoke bombs, right? Let me let me actually craft some of those. It's been a while. I can make four. I can also make stealth spray. I'm not going to right now. Maybe I'll do it later. Let me check out this fucking. I was gonna say, why does it look so sad? Steel and Dragon. Interesting. Wait. Hmm. Interesting. What the hell? <laughs> These look weird with their mouths closed. It's like very weird with their mouths closed. I'm used to them being open. Ah. Ho. Oh. Oh. Fifty-eight. Also, I just thought. No, not just now, but I thought this for a bit. Where is Roserade? I wanted to use this. I brought out Jushin because I thought it would be useful for... I have to check back. I'm not sure if I used... I think I did use Jushin. But after finding out that it was part rock type, I used Betty more. So then Roserade wouldn't have been a bad idea to have because of Energy Ball. Because it would have been... Or does Ice Resist Grass? It might not have been a good idea. Actually, because I saw... I think Noel. I think Leaf Blade was super effective. I remember using that. Either way, I'll hold on to the Roserade for now. Maybe I'll change it out a bit later. Maybe I'll try using the... The, uh... Gudra. But for now, I'll use that. Next, we're going to... Am I tracking it? It's tracking Acuity. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to Valor next, though. I don't know why it tracked Acuity first, but I'm gonna go to... Hmm. No, oh, there we go. I don't know why I zoom. Huh. I want to go to the Crimson Marlins first, or do I want to go to the Alabaster Icelands? Maybe I'll go here first. I don't think it necessarily matters. Hey. Let's go go here. I think I've only got the one. I think I went to... Hello? 
Lola. Where are you from, Shen? It's the person I've been waiting for. My Kyo Kyo wandered off to go play, but they haven't come back yet. Do you think you could help me find them? Oh, right. I'm sorry. Back home in Alola, Vulpix will call Kyo Kyo, you see. Really? Interesting. What? Hmm? Oh, did you not go and play with the rest? This is what an old Vulpix looks like. They blend right into the snow uh, with their white fur, so trying to find them all by all just by myself would take ages, and I'm still missing five of them. You should be able to find my Vulpix playing around the avalanche slopes. Could you find them all and tell them to come back? Sure. Where's that? Avalanche slopes. Somewhere I have not been, I think. Huh. Can I... Hold on. Jesus. If I were to track it... Hold on. Fuck. <laughs> Which one? Where are you? And then it just tells me how to go back. Actually, since I'm coming here, hmm, part of me thinks that, would it be an ice-type Pokemon that's in the lake, that's at the lake? Can I fucking switch my Pokemon here? I can, with the guy. I was like, oh no. I was thinking I wanted to use the Roserade. I mean, I could just use Chariot, so I guess it doesn't matter. Plus, I'd want to try and catch whatever it is anyway. Uh... Hmm. You know, tracking it just gives me where he is. Tracking will just tell me where he is so I can come back. I'll just... Yep. Actually, I should probably come down here since... Come on. There we go. I need, uh... I kind of want these anyway. I need these because I need to craft stuff. I never went through here. I don't know where this takes me. Definitely a cave of some kind. There are bug mine in here. That goes nowhere. Hey. Let's 
Stardust in that one too. Okay. So I'll just bring me like around here. Interest right now seems to be materials. Seems to be. <laughs> Most of these Pokemon have already completed entries for them in the Pokedex. Even then, I don't think I can update the Pokedex right now. I'm not even, I'm technically not even a part of the Galaxy team anymore. Oh, it was a lost satchel. Sick. <laughs> hmm. Is this an item? Oh, it is. That's where I need to be. What's well, trying to fight? Oh, Jesus. Awesome. Anyway. Let me, while I actually here as well. Cool. Uh, but with that, let me craft stuff. right here. Flying probably would have been easier. <laughs> but I'm going to climb instead. Sick. It did it. Jesus Christ. That was way more of a hassle than it needed to be. Right. Awesome. Hey, how's it going? Here we are. Lake Acuity, you know, you know, I've been told it contains seawater as well. It actually contains seawater as well. Yeah? 
Nobody knows why, though. It could be a fluke of geography, or perhaps connected uh, to a Pokemon somehow. Yeah? Lake Acuity is protected by the Pokemon Yuxi. Ugh! When Yuxi took flight, the knowledge to solve problems was born in people's minds. That's what the stories say, anyway. Hello? Awesome. A tool that can make caves simply appear from nowhere is quite, ha is quite a handy one to have. I wonder what's inside. I imagine there may be a Pokemon in there, protecting the lake's guardian. Take care. Oh, Alright. I sense a chill in the air. What is this? Wait, you're cold? Ah! <laughs> Sick. Could, could that be the dreaded, baneful fox? The what? And I know what it is. Hey. How's it going? Alpha Zoroark. Oh, Lord have mercy. So, I know Zoroark isn't... That's... I don't remember... I don't know what type Zoroark is. I've seen it kind of in all the promotional stuff. It's normal and ghost. These do nothing. Okay. Oh, fuck. Critical hit, huh? Shadow Claw is a ghost type move, right? Yes. Right? Yes. You know what? Hmm. Hmm. I'm using all the Agile st style moves. Just to prevent it from like having two turns in a row. 
Hey, usually the tons are later on to die, huh? True. Snarl is a dark type move. Maybe I should have seen that coming. Again, I don't know why I don't have Ultra Balls yet. I, it's probably 6-star, and I just never got to 6-star before all this shit it, uh, went down. Are these... They, they can't be better. Again, it's probably... I feel like these are just using a regular Pokeball, because I'm not using it for its special... thing. Because they have to be, like, unsuspectingly hit by it, right? Jesus. Of course. It's agile style, baby. Rosary doesn't have a name yet. I'm going to revive uh, Salad. So he's just gonna keep doing this. He's gonna keep Agile Salad. Piece of trash. <laughs> yep. I. Mm. This is going a lot worse than before. If this doesn't work, I might have to just like kill it. going to have to heal somebody else. Well. Can take one, so that's good. And with that, I'll also heal Salad. Kind of wish I could get his health down more, but I don't want to risk, like, I don't want to risk, like, knocking it out. And I could use something it resists. 
like a poison type move. Does Ghost resist poison? I have a feeling it's got. It used the agile thing, so I have a feeling it's gonna use another move straight away anyway. Which would render this pointless. I hate it here. I wanted to catch it, but it took every single one of my Pokemon out. Again, I really wish I had Ultra Force. The Bane for Fox. It's a Pokemon said to be filled with malice. We were told stories about it as children. your knowledge. Yep. <laughs> Call me Zubat, unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. How many are their eyes? Tell me each one by one, yet all at once. Answer me. Huh? Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna need to write that down. Uh. Which Pokemon? <laughs> right. Hold on. For sure, I'm gonna need to write that down. I'm gonna need you to tell me that one more time. <laughs> Combi? Combi? Zubat? I guess I can just. Okay. Combi has like three faces, each have two eyes. So Combi has six eyes. Zubat has none. Zubat, right? Yeah. Unknown has one eye. Unknown has one eye. Magneton has... Magneton is the third evolution, right? No, that's Magnezone. Magneton, both of them have the same amount of eyes anyway. Three. Because there's three Magnetons stuck together, each of them have three eyes. Dusclops, I think all three has one. Uh... So all together, five, eleven. How many are their eyes? Tell me each one by one, yet all at once. Okay, I've got an answer, I think. Enter your answers together as a series of numbers. Oh, it's not how many. Oh, that's what he means. One by one, we're all together. It's not how many eyes they have all together. 
I have to go in order. So, Combi has six eyes. That's why I have uh, five. Combi has six eyes. Zubat has none. Uh, Unknown has one. Magna, Magna, Magneton has three. And Duskull has one. Well, Dusclops has one, but it's true anyway. Six, zero, one, three, one. Wait. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. So then what's... What's the other one gonna do? Yuxi's claw? Yuxi's claws? Proof you've completed the trial set by Yuxi, the being of knowledge that lives in Lake Acuity. Awesome. Alright, see ya. Goodness, that was tricky. But only one more to go now. Uh... Um... I had a thought, but... I was trying to remember the Pokemon's name. I assume all went well, Rachel. Still, I must wonder. Why don't they give us... Why don't they just give us the red chain? Why all this running about? Perhaps they mean to test whether whoever seeks it is worthy. Perhaps you are right. Who knows what would happen if you fell into the wrong hands, after all. Though, on the other hand, what use would those wrong hands have for it? Who can say for sure? Maybe the red chain has some other use besides mending the world. Hmm. The red chain's as mysterious as this entire predicament we're in. But if we continue visiting the lakes, we'll get closer to an answer. So, shall we return to Mistress Gugita's home? Yes, let us. Wonderful! Then we, uh, then we can see if Mistress Gogeta has any more insights to share with us. Azelf, that's it. Is Azelf just gonna be like, alright, scrap. <laughs> Uh, so, that's Yuxi's claw. I sense a warmth to it. I do have to wonder if anyone else... Uh, I do have to wonder if anyone else has ever completed these trials of the lake Pokemon. Indeed. Yet, we, we may want to add just a dash more speed. Things in Jubilee Village are... Tense. Yeah? What makes you say so? It seems a Pokemon has been... glimpsed on the other side of the rift. Oh. Uh. One of those Ginkgo, Ginkgo Guild merchants informed me that Commander Commodo has raised the force not to survey... The po not to survey the Pokemon, but to subdue it, should it should the need arise. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants? You make it sound as if you're not one of them. Now, if... IF a Pokemon were to truly... truly were to appear from beyond the rift, what would become of everyone, I wonder? Don't let Hisui's great vastness stop you, Rachel. Let's go get the final item we need. That's the spirit. I'll come watch this historic moment unfold, too. Watch? Is that really all... Is that all you really do? Remember, once you sought the third lake, 
and found what is needed for the red chain. Make for the shrouded ruins. Okay. Um, my Pokemon are healed. Nice. I don't really think I need to get more of anything else. I think I can just... Hmm. I did craft smoke bombs. I can craft one of these, and I'm, at, I'm like, low on apricorns anyway. Because it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it might just be that that I needed to rank up again to be able to... Because I'm only 5-star right now. Had I ranked up more than I would have. Maybe. Maybe. Because I have ranked up after every area I've gone to. It just so happens that I didn't get to rank 6. To 6-star. Six well, I've only got one place to go. And that's... Crimson Myelins. Wait, maybe I should have gone to the other one. That might have made it easier to get to, um... I like the ghost Pokemon are around as well. They usually only come out at night. I think that's just supposed to be a mark of the fact that everything's screwy. So, like, the concept of night and day are uh, kind of out of the window right now. Hmm. Pretty sure I could have just walked across the bridge to get here. I think I did before. What saw me? What saw me to the point of wanting to throw hands? Jesus Christ, what happened? What happened? Is it because I clipped a tree or something? Jesus Christ. Since I know I can just break these now. Oh, and they have iron chunks. Nice. I don't think it really opened up anything. It just makes it so I can walk through here. Oh, hey, iron chunk. Lake Valor is the last one. Ho! Now you good son. Cool. What's that? just up here. I will go here real quick just to get this, just in case. But I think this is like the... Okay, never mind. I thought that would have been like the entry way because all of these lake areas do have like a place I can walk. into that one is over there 
mean, if I were to fall in the water, I could probably just, uh... It'll just swap me to... What's his name, anyway? How the hell do I get in there? Oh, is that the side I have to be? Okay. Hold on. Huh. Aggressive. Interesting. Okay. How's it going? Do you know about Lake Valo? It is said to have been formed by a volcanic eruption, much like Lake Verity. Though there are also other theories that say it was carved out in the midst of a Pokemon battle. This lake is protected by the Pokemon Azelf. When Azelf took flight, the will to do what needs doing was born in people's hearts. Or so, that is what the legend would have us believe. Hello? Hey. Oh, a cave appears where there was none, as if just for Rachel. Hmm. Well, let's head in, Rachel. I imagine strong Pokemon could wait inside, protecting the Pokemon of the lake. Take care. Right. What an eerie space. Why would there be columns inside a cave, anyway? What in the fuck?! Uh... Watch yourself, Rachel. Those quills look vicious. What the fuck is that? Does poison resist? Does poison resist grass? I guess I'll find out. Uh, I mean, I knew I had a feeling there would be an evolution for quillfish. I don't think they would just give it a new. They would make a new quillfish just for that to not be. A different um, form. Hello. Ha, <laughs> fishy me. Who is this ugly bastard? What's your name, fool? Overquill? Lord of Mercy. Now, what the hell? Okay. I think it is grass, uh, gra- Jesus. I think it is poison and water. So then why is it, why is Thunderfang and shit, like, only regularly affected? We're not going to try and catch it. I think I already have the pre-evolution. I have, I caught a, uh, water-type Pokemon already. 
Were those always there? That I could just like do that and use it? Because if that's the case, then I could just like go around and do this, and that'd be hilarious. I'm not gonna test it. It's dark and poison! Son of a bitch! <laughs> so it loses its water typing, I guess, when it evolves. I guess that makes sense. No, it doesn't. It probably has an ability that'll poison me. Maybe it's just I can access it from here. Die you shall. Again, I already have a the pre-evolution for it anyway. I know it's an alpha one, but I knew you could do it, Rachel. So then, hey, all the others are like, <laughs> all right, tell me how you feel. I was like, I want to see how smart you are. <laughs> What's this one going to be? Show. <laughs> I was right. Show me unyielding, show to me unyielding will. Strike me if you can. Survive if I let you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Scrap. <laughs> wait, wait. Bombs? Are you meant to try to hit Azelf with, with them? Then, I guess. What the? Where are you, you little fuck? Over here! Piece of shit. You seem to hear a voice inside your head. Will you abandon this folly? <laughs> I'm, I'm done. No! Bring your heads! Wait, can I target him now? Hey! 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 Fucking... Get your ass over- Yeah! <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> Stay still. Ah! Seems you had best give up. Will you continue regardless? I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> You're gonna die! Ah! 
bitch. Where are you? Yeah. <laughs> ah. Hey. The voice in your head, they speak to me, they counsel me, they understand. Give up. You struggle in vain. Will you yet press on? I will whoop your ass with these bombs, I swear to God. Ah! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Was it Azov's fang or something? <laughs> I was joking! <laughs> Drew! Okay, hold on. There we go. Proof that we completed the trial set by Azov, being of willpower that lives in the Lake Vowel. I right, see ya. That looked exhausting. But now we've journeyed to all three lakes. Nice. Let's go. Hmm. Let's go. Sick. Hey Volo, we did it. It seems we finished the three, uh, lake trials. If I remember correctly, we were told to then head for the Shrouded Ruins. I don't know what could await us there, but I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. Let's be on our way. Alright. What in the fuck? The Shrouded Ruins. Some of these look familiar. Mist is... so very good at obscuring things. It's long been sensed to blur boundaries. If we were to s somehow bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then maybe we need a setting such as this. That being said, what are we meant to do now? It seems I've made it in time. Hey, how's it going? You arrived just when we'd assembled all three gifts. Did you some somehow see our progress across the distance dividing us? I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. Could you mean... Uh... That Pokemon that flits about the Hisui region? Ah. Uh, but never mind that now. What about the Red Chain? How are we to forge it? I would hardly know. What? We speak of a divine instrument, said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine it can be forged by mortal hands? Then what are we to do? Search the entire vastness of Hisui for the answer? Do I oh hey, how's it going? Ah, the Pokemon of the lakes. Ha! <laughs> ah, sick. Nice. All right.
So it was true. The pact our people have passed down for all these generations have been, has been kept. At last, I can set this burden aside. You've succeeded once again, Rachel. Yet, things do not seem to be going well for the rest of the world. So well for the rest of the world. What have you heard now? I've had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. It seems the commander is going to forego waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. He what? <laughs> Has he lost his senses? He plans to get close to the rift to study it himself? Well, he doesn't yet know that our Rachel has managed to get the red chain now, does he? That's true. There's no way he could. We need to tell him about the chain and about everything Rachel has achieved before he sets out. Commander! Uh, this sucks. Huh? <laughs> what in the... Rachel, it's you. I can't believe I just let you pass right by. Thank goodness you're still alive. I mean, of course you are. I knew you'd be alright. Wait one second. I'll go let the captain and the professor know you're back. There's no time. Alright, you go do that. Oh, my dear Rachel! Uh, Professor, I know you've been worried about Rachel, but there's no need to cry. I'm not crying! Do not fuck your elders, if you please, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> and besides, weren't you the one who couldn't get a wink of sleep from all your worrying over our friend? You, you didn't have to tell her that. You bitch. <laughs> Just ignore him, Rachel. Anyway, what's Captain Silene? Wasn't she coming with you, Professor? She's buried under a mound of work, I'm afraid. Uh. We're to join her in the Survey Corps office. It seems her hands are more than full now that Commod Commander Commodore's gone. Shit. He's gone? Already? He set out for Mount Coronet with the Security Corps in tow. He's determined to handle this whole space-time rift business himself, including dealing with the Pokémon that's been spotted on the other side. And since I'm such a fine fellow, I took over watching the gate for the Security Corps folks. Well, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the captain. Jesus. Commander. He's gone! So you managed not to die, just as I ordered. Well done. Hmm. Thanks, Captain. I have no idea what you're implying. Hmm. All I know is Abra vanished of his own accord, inconveniencing me greatly. With a letter written by you. Okay. Moving forward. Before moving forward, I must ask. I assume you are here because... He, uh, I assume that you are here again because you've managed to learn something of use. Uh, I visited the lakes. I visited the three lakes. So I got this chain. Go on. Yeah, I met the three Pokemon of those lakes, and I got a chain. I got, I got this. I <laughs> you explained about the red chain you obtained. A legendary tool set to bind the very world. Commander Commodore is no longer here in Jubilee Village. The Security Corps has been scouting the area near the Space Time Rift, and they reported sightings of something on the other side of it, something that resembled a Pokemon. 
The commandos made the decision to take the security corps to the mountain uh, so as to prepare to fend off any possible threat. Uh, they were to make for the temple at the peak. The boss may be tough, but it seems like a bad idea to do something so risky without Rachel's help. As the captain of the Survey Corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Rachel, take, the, take that red chain to Mount Coronet. Make your way to, to it, uh, make your way to the peak and put an end to all this. You're officially reinstated at your former rank. Nice. Are you sure, Cap? Are you sure, Captain? The boss isn't around to approve that. Hmm. I've changed my mind. <laughs> if he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he would not have left me in charge here. Then I'll go as well. We're all in this together. We members of the Survey Corps. Naturally, no one suggested you should not. So we going straight there? I guess we can. Is that a fucking Lucario? Just hanging out? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I think I have to report. Okay, hold on. I might actually be able to do that now then. I see your Pokemon research is coming along nicely. So, completed for Lux Rain Decidui. Added more for Rotom. Because of that, I guess. Uh, got Pichu and Hapini in there. Got Gudra. Wait, got Magikarp. Looking weird with his mouth, mouth closed and everything. And I've already... Oh, I guess because I had the whole battle. Able to freely control the hardness of its metallic shell. I guess because I had the battle and I saw... Yeah, I saw it use Dragon Pulse and Shelter three times. It's an alpha, so that added one, and I caught it. So that was enough to complete it with just meeting one. So that's, that's neat. That's cool, I guess. Is that enough for... No. It was only 500. Not enough for me to, like, rank up. I kind of want to see what this Lucario wants. But I think I'll save that for next time. That's very interesting. But yeah, that is it for today, I think. Quite a bit happened. Went to all three lakes. Uh, got all of the Pokemon... Met all three of the lake Pokemon, crafted the red chain, came back in Commodos, on it got a death wish, I guess. So I'm gonna go save the commander. And uh, I guess I'll do that. That'll be for next week. So, with that said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.